happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is a Prunus J177. This is an FM retro portable clock radio with Bluetooth, auxiliary in, and MP3 player. You can find this retailing on Amazon for around $39.99. Watch for sales. That's probably how you want to buy this. Buy this one on sale if you like it. Uh, it's an interesting hybrid type radio, and we'll get to it. So it comes in a simple box. Took everything out. Let's see what we get in there. So in the box, we get the star of the show, the Brunus J177. As you can see, it's got this vintage look to it. Liking it. Cool vibes. All right, cool. So lay that down. Also, we get the charging cable, USB Type C. Yes, it is portable, so it has its own power source inside. And next we get the manual. We go through it real quick for posterity, which I like to do. Precautions. Components. In case I miss something, because there's a lot to the little radio. Pretty surprising how much it can do. There you go. It's got a dimmer for the screen. Nice. It's got FM radio only, uh, no AM, which is unfortunate. I like to see AM. That'd be a nice thing. So there's your battery capacity, weight, awesome. We'll go over more of those things. There you go, if your battery's running low, it'll say low battery and you plug it in. Now the interesting thing is they don't want you having it plugged in 24 seven. It says you should uh, unplug it after 24 hours. So uh, it's like I say, it's a hybrid type radio. It's more like a travel radio um, or off the grid radio. Something you'd probably use if you needed a backup radio. Because um, if, it's, if it's an everyday radio, you're going to have to charge it every other day. So there's your mode switch. Got Bluetooth. Yep, it's a going rate. Almost every radio nowadays has Bluetooth, right? Hands-free calling. Nice. You got an FM mode, which is pretty basic. I'm not a, quite a fan of it, but uh, I was able to get some stations. We'll talk about that. And let's see here how to get better reception. Okay. There you go. Again, it has a basic MP3 player. There you go. How big a card? 32 gigabytes or less. Okay, it says basic functionality. Uh, it's good for music tracks mainly. I wouldn't put long tracks in there. It does remember position on the MP3 track though. So if you're halfway through a longer track, say like a 10 minute track, it'll remember you're five minutes in. Uh, so it'll remember track and track position, which is good. It's good that it has that at least. Uh, but there is no fast forward or rewind, which I was kind of bummed about. All right, so there you go. Auxiliary in, now that's great for phones and MP3 players, but not good for other radios. I tried with my Skywave, listening to shortwave or AM, and there was too much noise on the line. I think it's from the electronic circuit inside. Uh, the Bluetooth module or something else is active. Time setting. The alarm's pretty cool. If I can, I'll see if I can demo this in the video. Don't know if I'll have time. But it has eight different alarm sounds, so that's kind of cool. So you can wake up to different uh, alarm tones, which I think is pretty awesome. All right, so that's pretty customizable. And then, of course, turning off the alarm, snooze, and there's an EQ mode, yes. You got bass, pop, jazz, rock, loud, and normal. Nice. And adjusting the brightness, which I mentioned. There you go. All right, so we're done with the manual. We got some QR codes there. We got US. We got Canada, and we got UK. There you go, and you can send them an email or call them. All right, great. So let's go ahead and dive into this thing. All right, so... Cable, nice and long, nice. Loving that. Uh, so the radio itself, dimension-wise, is six and one eighth of an inch in length. We have a height of three and one eighth of an inch, and we have a depth from front to back of three and a quarter inches. Okay, so pretty cool so far. Um, let's do a size comparison. Without doing that, I'm just gonna leave it tilted back. It's just easier for me. Uh, we have a C crane CC pocket. Give you an idea. It's a pocket size radio, like a shirt pocket size. So you can see it's got a bigger look to it. Loving that retro. Nice. Uh, next we have CC Skywave in the house. Again, just for size. There you go. Get an idea. 
Awesome. And if you don't have those two radios, of course, guess what? We have a deck of cards. Yeah. It's Iron Man. I am the man with the master plan. I love my Prunus clock radios from China land. I am Iron Man. Turning it faster than you can. <laughs> Turning it? Tuning it. That's what I meant to say. Turning it faster than you can, man. <laughs> there you go. You get an idea. Always have fun. Iron Man out. All right, cool. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's a lot of features of this radio. Um, so let's get busy showing you. So right away, this cabinet, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it's made of wood. Um, it's like a MDF with a, a veneer on it. So, yeah, it's like a fiberboard with veneer treatment. Uh, pretty cool still. And pretty solid. Everything's glued tight. It's like antique speaker grill here. And it, I believe it's a two-inch speaker behind there. One of those heavy bass type ones. It sounds fantastic. i uh, liking that. As you can see, we got a display here. Uh, so we press our button here. Go to clock mode. We'll turn it on. Card player. Clock mode. There's our clock mode. Now it's doing this flashy thing with my camera, but in person it's solid color. And of course we have this dimmer button. We can hit that. And we can dim it down. And then go to off. So you can have your clock mode and alarm ready to go, not wasting power if you're disconnected from your USB power. So that's the thing where it's kind of like you can't have it hooked up more than 24 hours. Uh, how are you going to run this? Well, you pretty much run it at night, maybe charge it during the day if you're not using it. Whenever you're not using it, you can charge it and unplug it for the evening. So I mean, that's how you're going to have to use it or use it off the grid and charge it when you need to. Uh, but that's cool. So it always have the clock running in the background for your alarm mainly. Uh, otherwise, the radio, when the radio's off, everything's off. The alarm won't go off, the radio, nothing happens. So that's kind of nice. It has that power off complete feature, so you're not draining your battery uh, whatsoever. Now, the strain rate is pretty minimal when it's on the clock mode. So, yeah, we'll leave it there. Um, so you see the Z, that's a snooze as well. So if the alarm's going off, you press that, and off you go. Now, the alarm tone here, you can press, I believe, press and hold for alarm. Okay, turns it on and off. So you get the little alarm symbol there. Uh, if you tap it once, light, you can set the time by pressing these buttons here. And then you can go confirm it with pause play. Goes to the next thing, change the minutes. There's the sound. Okay, that would wake me up. <laughs> so you can leave it there, confirm it with pause play. Volume. So we can get it quiet. Okay, it's a rhythm here. There we go. Nice. Confirm that volume. So yeah, now we said the alarm. That's cool. I just wanted to show you the different alarm tones there. Nice. Uh, we got a mode EQ. So of course, when the radio's on, we can change the modes. Let's show you that. So to get the radio mode on, just tap power again. Card player. And this will be our sound demo, which we'll do. FM radio. Yeah, radio. Auxiliary connection. Which I'll show you in the back. Of course, Bluetooth. Got a little symbol showing Bluetooth's going to be connected. Okay, nice. And that's how it Card runs. Player. So clock I'm mode. Back to clock. So time set's pretty basic. Uh, again, you saw the these are for navigating the menus and for setting things. And of course, track back, track forward, uh, preset forward, preset back. That's all you have on the FM, unfortunately. Pause play is your auto scan and save for the FM. There is no incremental tuning on FM. So if that's a thing for you, well, sorry about that. Um, uh, these are, uh, again, yeah, you can press and hold for volume as well. So there's no, the volume control is built into these two keys as well. So you press and hold for the volume to go up and press and hold for the volume to go down. Probably see me doing that. 
Uh, and of course here, like I mentioned, pause play. Um, well, you can mute the audio as well, uh, FM audio, uh, while you're playing the radio. So again, pretty basic uh, buttons. Um, can't expect to do a whole lot more. So let's go to the back of the radio. Turn this thing on, some demoing, right? So we have our whip antenna, which is nice, comes up, swivels up out of the way, like in that. Uh, pretty slick setup. I mean, it's made really nice. Um, I'd like to see it on sale. It'd be cool. Like this sold around 25 bucks. Um, I'd like to see it around there, but I, you know, I can see there's a lot went into this. Uh, so what we have here uh, for length of the antenna is 19 inches. Not bad. We have our SD card slot, a little micro SD, and uh, I put mine in there. It doesn't come with one. And it takes up to 32 gigabytes. Again, they say don't put a lot of files on there. Keep it minimal. Uh, otherwise, you may have problems. You know, I'd say like min you know, max maybe 50, 60 songs. A USB thumb drive if you have one. There's your auxiliary in. And then your Type-C input for charging the device. Uh, one amp is what they recommend using a one amp charger. Now, over here, you can see frequency information for FM. You can see power. Uh, when things really jam and it's consuming quite a bit. Uh, and it says battery is 1800 milliamp hour. So I opened it up. The only way to get into it is through these two screws. You take these two screws out and this whole thing comes out like a board. There's like a ribbon to it. And this is like everything on this board, like the radio, everything. It controls the display. It's just like this big board. And then underneath here is the battery. It's hot glued in there. It's one of those 18650s with the wrap and the protection board wrapped with it with pigtail leads coming out. And I believe it has three wires coming out. So you have your positive and negative, and I believe the yellow wire is a sensor wire uh, for temperature. So there you go. Again, pretty simple. So you probably could replace the battery if you're so inclined. Uh, it would take a bit of work, but it is possible. So uh, without having to destroy it. So something to keep in mind. And of course, you get the little rubber feet on the bottom. So there it is. Cool. So let's go ahead and talk about FM Reception Report, and then we'll get into playing around with the radio. So uh, FM Reception Report, I base it on a five-tier method. Fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Um, typical analog radios get about an okay to good rating right in between, which is pretty average. Uh, this radio here, um, it got an okay rating because, it, to be honest with you, I couldn't incremental tune, so I couldn't fine-tune it looking for distant stations by moving around the antenna, trying to find that sweet spot because you know how that is with FM radios, I had to use the auto scan feature and hopefully aim that antenna a certain way uh, as it was moving through the band to try to catch all those stations. Uh, and I was able to catch a few, um, about 38 of them. So it gets an okay rating. Okay, the good rating is around 45 to 50 stations. So it's a two-star rating, so it's not the best FM receiver because of that reason. Now, I do live a bit of a distance from the city, so if you're going to live in an urban area, you probably get a ton of stations. But living out in the boon boonies and the sticks well i don't tend to get as much uh they still pick them up though and the selectivity is okay as well so two-star rating a uh, basic fm radio it's more of a media player uh, more of a bluetooth speaker for me is what i'm thinking this is uh, for most people so let's go ahead and turn it on and do demo so we'll hit that button again Card player. volume press and hold the forward track here Press and hold. Change it. That's cool. Awesome. Thank <laughs> you. 
Duffy's Tavern. Why do you late me, T? Archie, the manager speaking. Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Well, it looks like spring is here. Yes, yeah, spring and the... The Harold Perry Show. <laughs> Lever Brothers Company, makers of Swan, the soap with the exclusive super creamed blend, presents... Our friend Swan with my friend Irma. Starring Mary Wilson as Irma and Kathy Lewis as Jane. So yeah, it's cool. You could have old time radio going on here. Um, of course I could. Frank Lovejoy in... I can mute it. Pause it, of course. Uh, so let's move it on. Let's uh, do some FM. So what we're going to do here um, is I'm going to hook up um, go to wires. I'm trying to get it ready, but that wasn't going to work out too well while the thing was playing, so I just waited. Um, I live in a subfloor basement down here, or film, not live. Um, so I have to use this little 12-foot wire to get to some reception on the FM radio. So we're just going to clip it. It's 12-foot wire. It's going to the blinds in my window uh, just to get a little elevation um, and away from the ground. So let's go ahead and see what we can pick up on FM. So we'll use the mode button. Let me just pivot this up out of the way. Now I noticed when I left the antenna in a different position or with the radio in line with the radio it picked up noise from the circuit. So if you extend the antenna up and away from the, the back of the unit you're better off with reception. So there we go. Our clip still. So we're going to go ahead and just Go to the FM radio and see if we can FM pick up. FM radio. Technology that gives you better service at lower prices. Okay, nice. Boost Infinite Wireless. Let's go to our presets. Visit BoostInfinite.com. Got volume. B-O-O-S-T. PQ. BoostInfinite.com or go to Amazon. Auxiliary connect. Whoops, I kind of messed that up. Let's go ahead. Player. FM radio. Boost iPhone 15 today. All right. Boost Infinite Wireless. Press and hold. BoostInfinite.com for terms and conditions. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. You know how we do. Local and lit. You, you ever fought a juggernaut? This is 1075 WGCI FM Chicago. This has number one for hip-hop and R&B. An iHeart radio station. Yeah, I'm on the music. This hip -hop, man. Yeah. Cool. Finance and banking, pay bills, and any other godly way we use our devices. By the most precious blood of Jesus Christ, please cover and protect us and surround us with the heavenly. They're coming up on midnight, and coming up next, we will have news from the BBC can hear that. World Service awesome. going all the way until morning edition at 5 a.m. Thanks for staying up late with us this evening on Listener Supported 89.5, WNIJ to Cal Brockford, WNIQ Sterling, W... The spouse confronting sin or even sharing the gospel. Learn how a tough conversation can open doors to forgiveness, reconciliation, and common ground. Moody Radio is providing support and encouragement through helpful resources. Go to moodyradio.org slash resources. Every day, from practical advice to topics that affect communities across Wisconsin, we get to the bottom of your questions, from wildlife identification to why your car is making a strange noise. Easy. Hi, I'm Sasha Ann Simons. On the next Reset, we're talking about college applications. Okay. <laughs> that was odd. With WBEZ's Neighborhood News newsletter, you get personalized data and insights <laughs> about your community, from the number of potholes to rat sightings and more. Sign up now at WBEZ.
It was the second of three days of memorials for former First Lady Rosalind. of his administration's wholesale support of Israel's operations in Gaza ahead of a presidential election. So pause it. Yeah, the clock... Um, clock mode. The clock did a reset, maybe? Or I don't know what happened there. That was an odd little glitch or something. I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> maybe Prudence can come on and tell me. But uh, that was interesting because now my clock is reset. So if I press and hold, turn this off. Press and hold, turn this back on. I think my clock, clock got, mode. my clock got wiped. Okay, so that is interesting. Did it get wiped or did the alarm go off? That was just a weird thing. <laughs> I'll have to check that. Uh, I wasn't really watching what time it was. Maybe we are the correct time. Yeah, we are at the correct time. There's nothing wrong. It didn't wipe. The alarm must have went off. Now, that's weird that the alarm went off uh, while we were playing. Um, I didn't remember having it set on the side there because it has a little icon. See right there. And if we set the time, let's see what time it was set on. I don't think I was set at the time for it to go off. But first we'll turn it off. Let's enter the alarm mode from clock. Oops. Quick press. So it was maybe it was set at yeah. <laughs> it was set to go off at 12 a.m. That's funny. So that we did have the alarm go off while we were on the FM band. Well it's good to know that. Okay. Well, that's what that was, I guess. <laughs> All right. Fun. Okay. So that was the FM radio. Uh, so we'll go ahead and disconnect this and do final thoughts. Yeah. I just wanted to know what was going on there. I was like, hey, that's different. So I'm still using this and learning it. But pretty much it's everything's pretty basic about it. So, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and talk about things I like about this radio. Um, So what I like about it is the wooden cabinet. It is feels really nice. I mean, it's... In person, it feels good. It's heavy. It's got good weight to it. It's got a nice speaker. Uh, the clock mode's neat um, with the dimmer setting. And you can turn it you know, it off so you're not wasting any power. But it's still going. Um, I like that. Um, easy to read. Uh, I like the fact that uh, the alarm can be set to different sound tones and that the alarm can be adjusted volume-wise. That's important because I hate screaming buzzers. I'm not sure about you guys. EQ works really well on everything, Bluetooth, MP3, uh, FM radio. You heard it. It was working pretty good. So I like the EQ mode. Um, not a fan of the uh, no fast forward, no track for, uh, I mean, no incremental tuning. I uh, wish this radio had that. And manual saving presets would have been nice. But, I mean, I guess it's too many buttons to add or feature-wise. I don't know. Maybe they could use the time set for something else. Because time set can be when the, you're in clock mode. This button could be used something else when the radio's on. Just an idea there, right? Um, yeah, so overall, those are the, the pluses. Uh, minuses, uh, the battery. Yeah, you can't change it easily. Uh, Prunus uh, usually is known for good radios like the J150 BTS. I love that radio. It's a little retro-styled AM, FM, shortwave radio you can check out my review on. I love that thing. It's fantastic, and it's got it runs on 2D cells or an 18650 that you can replace uh, with a battery compartment. So I, it's just I, I use it all the time. Uh, that's one of my favorite radios. Uh, but it doesn't have a clock, so this is, this is kind of cool because it has a clock and a nice alarm. Um, this would be something I'd use in a power outage probably um, is what I'd be looking at this. Yeah, I wish it had those things. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else I remember wanting. Uh, the volume setting. Yeah, so the if you notice the menu voice is louder than the volume on the other things, I wish you can control the volume of the menu voice. That was one thing that bothered me a little bit about the radio, so... 
Oh, I do like the uh, strong audio, as you heard. thing is amazing sounding in person. Holy cow. And, of course, the auxiliary in uh, for your MP3 devices. Um, again, a plus. So there it is, the Prunus J177. Uh, is it a buy at 40 bucks? Probably not. Uh, I'm just saying that because I think it's a little pricey for what it is. Um, you know, it's not like it's real wood. It's just MDF with veneer on it. And it will cost a little more to put together, but... Um, the retro style is nice. I do like that kind of, what is that, like a 70s, early 70s look, late 60s. Um, I do do like that look. It's kind of old school fluorescent style display. Yeah, in person, it's more white than blue. My camera's kind of putting a blue tint to it. But uh, yeah, overall, um, I would say it's a maybe purchase. Uh, if the price is around 25 bucks, I'd be more inclined to give it a big thumbs up. But uh, as it sits here with the FM radio not being fantastic um, and basic workarounds, um, I would I would say, yeah, get some maybe purchase for me. So there it is, the Prunus J177. You saw it here first or second. I don't know if other people have this reviewed already or not. Um, but it's a cool radio nonetheless. I, I do enjoy radio. You guys know that. Um, so give me a big like if you like the video. Two, if you like Prunus Radios and want to see more, hit subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews, comparisons. Uh, you know I like Prunus brand and I cover almost every one they make. So um, it's, it's cool to to get them and see what they can do in person and kind of demo them for you. And three, comment below what you think about this particular model, the Prunus J177. Is this something you'd be interested in? Do you have an idea for use? Um, being that it's portable and battery powered uh, versus a normal plug-in clock radio. Now, my dad used to be a truck driver and he would go and pick up these little clock radios that ran on little batteries and they would run forever. And, you know, but they were pretty basic. They didn't have a radio in them or anything like that. Um, but uh, if you just need an alarm clock radio, I guess they just go to there, like a truck stop or something, you a travel one. Um, but something like this is a little bit more upscale. So let me know what you think. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.